Normally, I'd say I'm the anime hero and I review anime so you can enjoy it. But not today, for this isn't a review. It's just a basic lazily edited video on just thoughts I have towards this particular series, and don't worry, this isn't a rant. About a month ago, I uploaded a Getting Into Fist of the North Star video, and I was asked to do a Getting Into One Piece video, in which this may be the closest I'll ever get to that. The whole purpose of this video is to explain why I don't do One Piece material on my channel, aside from certain gags such as reaction videos or random jokes. <sighs> Some time ago, I made a promise to myself that I'll only do a One Piece review of any sort once I reach 1000 subscribers. The reason behind this decision was that I wanted to earn my subs outside of a heavy fanbase, and I certainly don't want to be hopping on board the bandwagon. To further elaborate, I have to summarize my own goals and certain nitpicks I have towards being a YouTuber. Okay, to get this off my chest, I simply don't want to be involved in anything that's mainstream whether it's good or bad. For example, several friends of mine as well as people I'm subscribed to tell me to check out certain series such as Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online, Fate Zero, and so on and so forth. As said earlier, I don't really care whether the show was either a hit or a flop, but I tend to just stay away from mainstream along with seasonal anime. For whatever reason, I don't like hearing everyone's thoughts all at once. Now I'm aware I don't have to watch any episode or chapter reviews, but it's pretty difficult to ignore when my own subscription box keeps getting filled with several videos of the same content. Not to mention that these same people are spoiling the content with their own thumbnails and, and video titles. So you're kind of fucked if you happen to look on YouTube without even knowing the recent chapter came out. Now this will correlate with my previous talk about One Piece and other big titles in general. I simply just don't like the fanbase for most of this series. Initially, my overall frustration began when I started uploading videos and starting getting to know people on YouTube. I just found it very upsetting how very little things can spark so much hate and insult to different people, who more than likely never met or to others who have actually met. Just start arguing over what series is overall better. This all started applying when people were overall bashing authors and how little faith they had in the series they were reading. Sure, I admit there was a couple of bad decisions done in a couple of the current running weekly series, but my biggest annoyance is how literally everyone got so furious with chapters such as the whole Toby reveal and when everybody thought the war ended with the defeat of Kabuto, which is by far the highest over-exaggeration I've ever seen people react towards a series. Sure, they have the right to be upset, but did everyone really have to get that pissed off? I mean, it's obvious that the anime would stretch out fights that the manga had skipped, I mean, it's already happened before with previous fights, and it's obvious that things had been skipped, just so the story could progress faster. But yes, I'll admit there was wasted potential and a lot of confusion, but is it worth stressing yourself over? So some of you may be asking, weren't you upset? Why yes, I certainly was, but I didn't have to make a YouTube video about it. I didn't throw a tantrum like a toddler or started insulting the author's bad decisions, whether it was Naruto or any other series with problems. You all know which ones I'm talking about. Besides, each one of you have your own ongoing series to spite at. It was due to recurring events such as these that I simply stopped caring for these shows and kept my thoughts to myself. Which relates to this whole One Piece portion video. I just don't want to talk about One Piece. It's mainly to the fact that while I think it's a good series, I am not the biggest fan of it. I'm far from being the biggest fan of it. For example, when people make a list of favorite series, it's all about which shows you really like or felt a personal attachment. Too, regardless of certain flaws or if the show itself is a critically acclaimed series. For reasons such as that, I will place a lot of series that I like more than One Piece. The truth is, One Piece is good to many and cheap to others, but I feel that the show is overhyped is not the problem. The problem is that One Piece is heavily overexposed on YouTube. Sure, you may not see One Piece in any Hot Topic stores, but the fans are everywhere. In every city there is a fan, and in a good amount of channels and usernames on YouTube is One Piece related. And when I hear things like these, I simply want to stay away. And this is why I don't usually join live streams with either Live Life Otaku or Sao Spalino. It's not you guys personally, I, I assure you that. It's just that I don't want to talk about it. I mean, practically everyone's One Piece chapter review isn't necessarily a review. They're all speculation videos. Everyone's got their own thoughts on the subject, and frankly, I don't want to do a video sharing any thoughts for it. There's plenty of other people you can go to. Yeah, some may not always be good, and some are good, but it's so saturated that I feel I don't have any room to breathe. It's like some sort of marketing ad that I just can't go a week without hearing or seeing it. 
Hell, much less a day. And the same thing is happening right now with Attack on Titan. Yeah, I take your word for it that it's good, but I don't want to dive into it if everyone else is in the pool. There's no space and much less individuality. When I started my channel, I, d I did it to be different. I do reviews because I had the confidence in myself that I could do what no one else is doing, and I still do. My channel began because I was annoyed that no one was going in depth with the Dragon Ball movie reviews and just giving like very lame, stereotypical reasons, and now I feel annoyed once again with the lack of differences in style and reviewing choices. I remember the days where people all wanted to talk about different obscure anime to be shared with other people and how everyone was trying to make their own style and making full anime series reviews. Of course, this was before the whole partnership thing. I know it's rough, and I know by experience... I know it's rough trying to be original, and I know by experience, it took more than a year for me to figure out what I wanted to do and who I wanted to be known as. This comedic style I have learned to attain all came with practice, and I'm still practicing. I'm learning how to make a comedic routine with manga reviews, and bring high rewatchability to those said reviews, for I want to entertain people. I want to make them laugh and I want for a series to be watched and at least checked out. Sure, I do not always agree with what my audience says or what others say, but the fact that I was able to persuade them to even check out an entire episode or know about the series means that I've done my goal as a reviewer. There's many things I want to do in this channel, so much I fear I may not ever finish with these projects within a lifetime. I want to keep doing this till I'm old. I want to persevere and I don't wish for people to forget what it means to be a reviewer of the older days. I've been around for almost two years now, and I've seen many people who have an immensely higher amount of subs than me, and they achieved this in less than a year of their debut. I don't need a handicap about episode reviews, chapter reviews, or certain mainstream topics, and I don't want to be those who flock like sheep following YouTubers like they're following these very high-ranked YouTubers like they're ye wise gods of some anime hierarchy. No, I'm flattered with those who subscribe to me. I'm flattered that people constantly give me requests and wish to hear my opinion. And I'm grateful for the friends I made through the internet and Skype. I just wish I had some more time to do several things. For I just don't want to do the talk and I also want to do the walk. Ugh, how I wish things can proceed forward with an older style. Getting back to the initial subject, I apologize, but I, I cannot accept any One Piece requests, as well as Naruto and possibly several other big name ongoing titles, for I'm having loads of fun looking backwards of anime. If you know me well enough, I'd rather focus on a series that's finished. Besides, someone has to speak of the classics whether they're from the 90s or 80s, or even older. I assure you, there's several other people who can get you into One Piece, or Naruto, or some other series. I'm pretty sure Zoro Fanboy124 can help you get into One Piece, but sadly I don't know anyone who can give an honest opinion about Naruto though. As for when I'll ever talk about certain big 3 series or any of the ongoing shonens, that will, that will have to wait for a long time. For those subjects who will stay in my anime Pandora's box until further notice. I'm still busy with college, but hey, summer's coming. Oh, and before I forget. I also began a YouTube channel because I really had no one to share anime with, and sadly, I can never find a single woman who's into anime. Whenever I find a lady, she's always already seen somebody or engaged. Eh, <sighs> yeah, just gotta keep trying. Oh, and expect some more manga and anime reviews in the future. For as long as I'm alive, this channel won't die. Whether it's a review or some random video, there will be content in this channel, an oddly named, hard to make a username too, or as I prefer. I'm the anime hero and I review anime so you can enjoy it. And sometimes I review manga so you can read it. Take care of yourselves.